have my own house, lakini nilikuwa sina toilet yangu. The open defecation was so high, you could rarely find a latrine. So every time we would do the health screening, we would have high numbers of skin diseases. Watoto wangu wakagonjeka. Mazangoni kwa skasiti ya maji, sana, sana, sana. Nipoenda treni niliporudi, nilijaribu sana kuchimba choo kwangu. Lakini ikawa haienze kani. A bulk of them would be what we call wash-related diseases. Asa hiyo pia nachangia, hizo magonjwa za zina. Compassion uh, International in Kenya has been doing the work of partnering with churches uh, to serve the needs of children and youth and families. We as Compassion do regular health checks. So every time we would do the health screening, we would have high numbers of skin diseases, uh, diarrhea, typhoid, any diseases that are preventable, malaria, a bulk of them would be what we call wash-related diseases, diseases that are caused by some deficiency in water, sanitation and hygiene aspects of that a particular group of people. I have my own house, but I didn't have a toilet. I didn't have a toilet in the mosque. That's why I was doing my work, but I didn't have a big one, I didn't have a big one. That's why I was doing my work, and I didn't have a big one. I was going to the train, and I was going to the train, and I was going to the train, but I didn't have a big one. Because my father didn't have a big one, and I didn't have a big one. Because of their lives. I was going to the train, and I was going to the train, and I was going to the train. I was going to the train, and I was going to the train, before the wash initiative, we used to help ourselves Evo. So since to mezaliwa kwa community yenye there is no toilet nini Evo, few people ndo wako na toilet ama kwa ukienda shule ndo wanapata toilet, ukienda hospital ndo wanaona toilet, but kwa community hakuna toilet. So tulikuwa tunaona it's a normal thing. Mansangoni kuna scarcity ya maji sana sana sana. Anzo hiyo kitambo tulikuwa tunachota maji kwa visima. Wanaita benesi. Inachimbwa tu kubwa hivi then mvua ikinyesha maji yote hivyo yenye natiririka inakuja inakuja mahali moja ndo mnaenda kuchota hapo huku mkungani yote ni moja peke yake ukiwa kwa periods hizo menses ikifika hiyo time hakuna cho hiyo time pia tukua na knowledge ya kuwa iti unafaa kurusha kwa cho ama kwa hizi mabini nini hakuna hiyo na atujui so Unatumia pad ama hiyo kitambara kama imejaa unaenda kuchimba shimo na jembe unaweka ukiona wenzako anatumia pad so wewe na utamani kutumia pad uweze afford pad sasa hiyo pikipiki akipatia 50 bob kanunua ile always ya 50 bob unajiona ya yeah, huu mtu atanisaidia na take advantage hapo sasa hiyo pia inachangia hizo magonjwa za zina nyingi ilikuwa inachangia magonjwa za zina na pia mimba za mapema the open defecation was so high you could rarely find a latrine. In the rural areas, the place is actually characterized with a lot of bushes. And they were not aware of their diseases. They thought that the diseases were actually caused by witchcraft. Kabla mimi nizai tayari mwenye niliendesha. Nusura ni kufe. Kwa sababu mazingira ni maba. Ni maba ya. Na kule kutu nilikuwa nimetoka huko kutu kukiwa gunachoo. Lakini nilipo ingia huu kukila boma halina choo. Watoto wangu wakagonjeka, nilipata mtoto mimi mwenye alikuwa na upele. Mtumbaga nikatamani, sasa siniaende Mombasa basi. Lakini nimeolewa huku, nitaenda nieshi Mombasa kweli. Hiyo huduma nilipopata huko kwa health champion nikajanayo, kwa boko wa hile boma langu, nilianza charity begins at home. Nilianza hapo kwa angu tayare. Nilipoanza hapo kwa angu, nika elezea watu kusu mambo ya hand washing machine, Mambo ya haya maboya, zile vibuyo ambo mnatengeneza mnaosha mikono. Mkitoka kwa cho, unaosha mikono vizuri. Nika walemisha watu kwa kuchimba cho. Ni muhimu mtu wa kiwana cho. Manake kile kinyezi chote kita kwa kikoma lipa moja. Nilipona hiyo, sasa hiyo nolo jindo inanifata. Nika pata kama it's a call. Nika pigiwa simu. Hospital. Nilikuwa naenda tu hospital, tu naenda na volontia na rumi mbana. Naenda na volontia na rumi mbana. 
nikapata uko hospitali nikaitwa nikapata kazi hospitali i like my job because ukienda kwa village kule ukienda kutembea you train them looking back i would say this initiative was a success or it is an ongoing success because of the um, achievement of the desired results that we had envisioned the ownership and use of latrines the issue of using local technology the issue of the community coming together we have been interacting with our health data and we were very very excited to notice that somewhere from 2019 the burden of water and sanitation related illnesses have begin to go down and in, even in terms of the kind of money that we now use for treating or affording treatment for the beneficiaries that has considerably gone down the health team were putting it at a, an 11% reduction from 21% burden to 11% burden in water uh, hygiene and sanitation related conditions mafundisho ya mradi ametusaidia sana saa hii tukichukua taka tuzoeka kwenye shimo tunachoma tukafundishwa kuna kuweka vijaja kijaja cha kuweka vyombo ili ukiosho kiweka pande kwa kijaja vinapata jua vizuri vinakuwa safi na upande wa choo tulikuwa hatuna choo uchafu ni mwingi usafi uwe kwa wingi kwa sababu usafi ukiwa wingi nyumbani mpaka magonjwa yanakimbia magonjwa ya wanadamu yanakimbia magonjwa ya mifugo yanakimbia